Tonight, another nightmare at Channel 9. Police have raided the station after a senior reporter got arrested for allegedly having child pornography. It's plunged a current affair into crisis. Terrorists threaten to attack the Anzac Day service at Gallipoli. Canberra is so concerned it sounded the alarm bells for anyone thinking of going. The Young Royals lead a memorial service for those killed in the Westminster attack. At last, the terrible truth about what happened to this adorable pup. This man has fronted a Sydney court and confessed his crimes. The gates open at the Royal Easter Show and there are a few surprises this year, especially on the food front. And it might just be his crowning glory. Bob Hawke has had a beer named after him. And just like him, it's full strength. This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Sandra Sully. Well, good evening. One of Channel 9's most senior reporters has been arrested and charged with possessing child pornography in a dramatic police raid on the network's Willoughby headquarters. Ben McCormack has worked at Channel 9's A Current Affair for more than a decade and made a name for himself in his relentless pursuit of the TV actor and paedophile Robert Hughes. Amanda Hart joins us now from Redfern Police Station where he's been questioned throughout the day. Amanda, this must have come as a terrible shock even for his colleagues who investigate and report on these sorts of stories every day. Well, Sandra, these allegations are not just disturbing, but they're quite sickening as well. Now, Ben McCormack is still inside the Redfern Police Station. He hasn't come out yet, but as you can see behind me, there's quite a large contingent of media here, all waiting to ask him whether these allegations are true. Now, late this afternoon, he was child, charged rather with sending child pornography. Police say he was also involved in a sexually explicit conversation about children with another man, as well as allegedly discussing child pornography. Now, Sandra, at this stage, we don't know if he's going to deny these allegations. He's chased pedophiles halfway across the globe. Hello, Robert. Ben McCormack from A Current Affair. There's a lot of serious allegations being made about you back in Australia at the moment. Do you have anything to say? This is Ben McCormack in Singapore exposing Robert Hughes well before police had a case against the Hey Dad star. I'm absolutely totally shocked at the allegations. It was McCormack who was on the wrong side of the camera lens and the law, pulled over by police and then arrested. He spent the day explaining to detectives why he allegedly had pornographic images of children. All the while, officers searched his home for evidence. Today, police told staff to leave Acker's Willoughby office before raiding the premises. It's believed at least one computer was seized. In a statement, the Nine News and Current Affairs Director said, I can confirm that officers from the New South Wales Police have been at TCN this morning investigating matters relating to a staff member at a current affair. It's a personal matter that does not relate to the program or Nine. This was the last time McCormack appeared on air. It was only two nights ago. But there are plenty of ways that these cards can catch you out. It's not known if he's been stood down from Nine or when he'll appear on our screens again. Now, Sandra, Ben McCormack is expected to appear in court next month and then maybe then we'll hear his side of the story. Indeed. Amanda Hart, thank you. The federal government has sent a shiver through Anzac Day preparations with a stunning new warning. It's revealed unnamed terrorists have threatened to attack the dawn service at Gallipoli. Canberra is now so concerned it's urging anyone who's planning to travel to Turkey to think again because it's just too dangerous. Jonathan Lee joins us now with the latest on this story. He's at Parliament House. Jono, what more do we know about this threat? Well, the government has stopped just short of telling people not to attend, but it's clear in doing so there are many inherent risks.